Hello friends and students. In the previous video we have solved a few problems related to double integrals and in this lecture we shall solve a few problems related to triple integrals. Now I will be doing two or three video segments on triple integrals. Now in this lecture we shall only solve the basic problems of triple integrals. Now if you remember the double integral is basically used to find the area whereas triple integrals are used to find the volume of solids. So how do we find the volume of solids using triple integrals will be dealt with in the next lecture. Now in this lecture we shall only solve a few basic problems related to triple integral. Triple integral x plus y plus z dx dy dz where x varies from 0 to 1, y also varies from 0 to 1 and z also varies from 0 to 1. Now first integrate x plus y plus z with respect to x treating y and z as constants. So what is integral of x? It's going to be x square by 2 plus you have integral of y dx which is x y plus x z and I need to substitute the limits for x varying from 0 to 1 and of course I have y varying from 0 to 1, z varying from 0 to 1, dy dz. So substitute 1 for x, so you get 1 by 2 plus y plus z minus 0. So I will skip that because I have x in all the three terms and I have to substitute 0, right? So you get minus 0. Now this has to be integrated with respect to y varying from 0 to 1 and then by z varying from 0 to 1. So integrate this with respect to y. So you get 1 by 2y plus y square by 2 plus zy with y varying from 0 to 1. And then you have dz integral 0 to 1 z. So wherever y is there, put y equal to 1. So you get 1 by 2 into 1 plus 1 by 2 plus z minus 0 dz integral z varying from 0 to 1. Now observe half plus half is 1. So you have z plus 1. Alright. Which has to be integrated with respect to z. Where z varies from 0 to 1. So what do we get? We get z square by 2 plus z. With z varying from 0 to 1. So I have 1 by 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3 by 2. A very simple problem where you have triple integral you need to integrate with respect to x y and z and every time you do that you have to treat the other variable as a constant problem 2 integrate r square sine theta d5 d theta dr so d5 varies from 0 to pi by 2 d theta varies from 0 to pi by 2 r varies from 0 to a right so you find that i can integrate all of them separately Whereas here in this case you had x everywhere so therefore we could not separate them right so you had to integrate with respect to x substitute the value and then proceed but here I can do that. So I have r varying from 0 to a r square dr into so you have the next one which is theta varying from 0 to pi by 2 sin theta d theta integral phi varying from 0 to pi by 2. So you have 1 into d5. So what is integral of r square? It's going to be r cube by 3 where r varies from 0 to a. And then you have integral of sine theta. So we know that integral of sine theta is minus cos theta minus cos theta with theta varying from 0 to pi by 2. And integral of 1 d5 is nothing but 5 varying from 0 to pi by 2. So here you get wherever r is there you substitute a so you get a cube by 3 into so what is cos so you have minus cos 90 minus cos 0 into pi by 2 minus 0. So observe you have a minus sign here so you have a cube by 3 and then minus what is cos 90? Cos 90 is 0 and cos 0 is 
1 because 0 degree is 1 so it's minus 1 into into pi by 2 so you have minus of 0 minus 1 so minus into minus becomes plus so you have a cube by 3 into 1 into pi by 2 so the value is a cube into pi by 6 so this is the answer so as I said in this lecture we have just solved two very simple problems related to triple integrals so that's why I've given the title as lecture one basic so in the next lecture session we shall solve triple integrals where we need to find the volume of solids so do not forget to like share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of all the further uploads and thanks for watching